When people think of Wyoming, they usually think about Yellowstone and Jackson Hole. Teton County has a booming tourism economy and for good reason. The views are stunning and the wildlife are plentiful. It took a while for Teton to become its own county. This land was first included in Uinta, then Lincoln County. The communities in the valley were still far from the county seat in Kemmer, so wanted to become their own county. A law had to be passed because the area had too few inhabitants and the land valuation was too low to meet requirements for a county. Teton County was formed in 1921. The equality state values were strong as there was a female mayor, town council, and town marshal. The county is 97% federal land with Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks and the National Elk Refuge. The National Elk Refuge was established in 1912. Antler sheds from the refuge can be seen on the corner of Jackson's Town Square. Skiing has been a major draw for tourists in the winter. Snow King was the first resort and was built in 1939. They had a rope tow to get to the top of the mountain. Tourism didn't pick up until the airport was built in 1946. Now Teton County is one of the wealthiest counties in the nation. As you drive into Teton County, you'll drive through canyons or over mountain passes. In the middle of the county, you'll be greeted by the Tetons, the youngest mountain range in the Rocky Mountains. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Mae Smith, exploring the nature of Wyoming.